Hey there, it's Mr. Leatherwood. It's been a while. Today we're going to model addition of integers using counters. Before we get started, we need to talk about what a zero pair is. A zero pair is when you have a negative chip and a positive chip. Those two together equal zero, right? If we have a negative, and, negative one and a positive one, that's gonna meet in the middle and that's gonna be zero. This is gonna be really important when we use these models when we're doing addition and later on when we're doing a subtraction. So zero pairs are gonna be really important to understand. So let's talk about it. So in this number sentence, we have negative five plus negative two. So the way I start is I start with whatever my starting value or my one on the left is. So I have negative five and I'm adding two negative twos. So my two negative twos. And then I just count what I have. So I have, where's my little, there we go. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven negatives. So my answer to this one would be negative seven. Pretty simple, started with negative five or five negative chips plus two negative chips, so we get negative seven. Okay, let's see if we can get a little trickier. Now we have negative five plus two, so we'll see how this is different. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Do, 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 do. Negative five, so I'm gonna start with five negative chips. And then here's the tricky part. I'm gonna add two positive chips reason I say it's positive is because we don't have a negative symbol out in front, so it's just a normal number two. So I'm going to add two positive chips. Now here's where zero pairs come in handy. So for instance, this right here is a zero pair. This right here is a zero pair. And what we find is that those equal zero because we have a negative and positive, so they kind of wipe each other out. So if you want, you can kind of mark these out and say, okay, these are gone because it equals zero. And then our leftover amount is going to be right here. So my answer to this one, I have three negative chips. So negative three would be my answer to negative five plus two. All right, let's do one more before we leave. Why don't you pause this one and you can draw on your piece of paper and see if you can figure out what negative four plus nine is. So pause the video and when you're ready, hit play again and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so hopefully you've tried this on your own. I'm gonna start with negative four. I need to stop doing that. So I have four negative chips. That's gonna represent my negative four. You can put them however you want. And then I have nine positive chips. Two, three, four, five, I'm going to make a little difference. I'll move that down there. 7, 8, and 9. And you can probably see why I moved that down. Because again, we want to look at those zero pairs. So I have some zero pairs here that can go together. And when I do that, we know that that zeroes out the value of zero. So it kind of cancels each other out. So we're getting rid of these values. And then with our leftover amount, looks like we have one, two, three, four, five positive chips. So my answer here would just be the number five. We're gonna practice this more in class um, and we're gonna have plenty of practice. And then eventually we're gonna move on to uh, modeling addition with number lines. And then we're gonna do subtraction with chips as well. So you can kind of use this use, uh, with subtraction, uh, which gets a little tricky, but. I like it a lot. All right. Um, see you next time.